I guess one that we've worked on recently is, is clients that are purchasing existing gas lines from another gas provider. And they might not know the condition of those pipes themselves or the slopes that they run across. So they might have us review LiDAR, either just individual LiDAR sets or using multiple to do LiDAR differencing over time to identify hazards and then classify those hazards. I think that's one use. And then there's also just pipes that they didn't acquire. There's maybe pipes that were built a long time ago that have been in the ground a long time. And maybe they're just interested in keeping those in service and keeping their assets working like they should and making sure they're doing it safely. I mean, as far as like the type of hazards that we're looking at, it's, it's the majority of the hazards that we look at are landslides, but we also do a lot of subsidence as well. So like sinkholes. And then at first you need to identify the hazards using LiDAR. And then part of the classification process is sort of identifying if they are these like landslides or subsidence areas, do they appear active? How recently active do they appear? How close are they to the pipe? All those factors. And a lot of times those hazard classifications are determined with the client, depending on what they're looking for. I think a lot of times clients come to us after working with other consultants that maybe didn't do as detailed of a job as they would like. So I think, I mean, if, if I were to say like one thing, I'd say that we're pretty detail oriented when it comes to um, hazards. A lot of other consultants, they might map hazards, but they don't delineate where they actually are. They might not classify them as far as like threat to the actual pipe, or they might not field verify them. That's something that we'll do as well. And then just experience as well. Multiple people on our team who have been doing this type of work for gas pipelines for 20, 25, maybe even 30 years. I think we're like one of the consultants in the realm of pipelines that's known as doing good work. So if you, maybe you're working with a different consultant currently, but then you have a rupture or some unfortunate incident. Maybe you have a lot of rainfall, a lot of landslides form, and they start sweating bullets. I think we're one of the firms that they come to because they know that we're gonna do a good job.